So guys, welcome to Cheat Metric. So in today's video, we will directly start with a question which is based upon this data set. Uh, so this data set uh, represents uh, uh, average temperature across various Indian cities uh, in multiple uh, seasons like winter, summer, uh, monsoon, post monsoon and then average of the year. So the question you, uh, which you need to answer is which city is usually hotter or experience higher temperature? Another question is which city is usually colder or experiences lower temperature? So to answer this question, you have to process this many numbers and then uh, or you have to do some number crunching uh, to conclude to an answer. But if I ask you the same question, but uh, instead of representing that, I represent it uh, visually uh, in this format. So these are called heat maps uh, where uh, numbers are uh, visually uh, represented with the help of colors. Uh, so higher number uh, is uh, represented with a color of uh, a higher intensity. Similarly, the lowest number is also represented with uh, either a different color of uh, uh, highest intensity or uh, or with a, a lighter uh, color set. So, so, so these are called heat maps and we will learn today how to draw these heat maps and in Google Sheet it is known as color scale. Okay, so here uh, it's very easy uh, like uh, 33 Jaisalmer uh, usually uh, it experiences higher temperature. So Jaisalmer is uh, a city with higher temperature while uh, Leh has a uh, uh, minus 6 degree, uh, so uh, the greenest. So here green represent uh, the lowest temperature. So uh, Leh is uh, the coldest, so uh, coldest uh, city. Okay. So we will now see how to draw these uh, heat maps. So, so what I am doing here, I, I am uh, selecting the data set and then uh, I will go to format and then I will go to conditional uh, formatting. Then I will go to color scale and then uh, I have to see the range if my uh, range is correct uh, or I can change the range from here. So it's uh, C4 to R8. So range is uh, correct and here we have a default uh, 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 color scaling uh, which is applied like this. We can also do custom scaling. Okay, so we can choose uh, either of uh, these. Uh, so uh, the default color scale, so it represents the minimum value is the greenest, while the maximum uh, value is uh, uh, white. So, uh, so th this is the maximum value and this is the uh, minimum value, right? So you can customize it. Ideally, uh, I, I like it this way, uh, either this way, where minimum uh, would be represented uh, with the white and the maximum uh, will be represented uh, with greenest or uh, what I had shown you was this. So here uh, the lowest value is being represented with green and highest value is being represented with red. So here uh, you have this and then you can also do kind of a custom setting. So we will see how to see this custom setting and then you have to do it done. So this generates you uh, a heat map uh, and uh, it helps us in data visualization. So also one more method uh, to reach uh, uh, this color scale. So you can go to here fill color and then from here you can go to conditional formatting and then uh, again the same conditional uh, format uh, window will open for you. So here I am doing uh, changing the color. So So here a minimum value I want uh, it to be uh, light light pink let's say this pink uh, and maximum uh, uh, value I want to be blue deep blue okay so so this has uh, become like this so uh, like this you can do the custom um, custom coloring arrangement you can see and also you have midpoint setting of the color uh, and then you can change it also and midpoint you can change according to number percentage percentile etc okay so uh, next uh, i want to demonstrate this to you through another thing so here uh, let's say i have selected this entire seat okay and then uh, i am applying here uh, conditional formatting so 
and then I am going to color a scale. So here the selection is done A1 to Z1000 means the entire uh, this uh, sheet uh, on this tag has been selected and let's say uh, again I have uh, selected this okay and now I am generating uh, some of the numbers. So uh, let's do it manually first. So as you can see so here uh, like one is uh, green uh, and then it is like uh, currently on the seat four is the largest number so it, so it is being represented with red of highest intensity okay now five has become so five will become the deepest red and then uh, six so like that it is getting uh, adjusted like this so uh, let's say uh, now uh, it will completely change uh, like six is uh, currently here uh, uh, deep red and now it will change towards yellow because the maximum number yeah it has changed to yellow because the maximum number available on this entire seat where this color scaling is applied is 10 right so here I have taken help of sequence function so if you want to know in details about sequence function you can check out this video um, similarly uh, you can uh, uh, now apply uh, here a rand array function as well uh, so random array generates you random uh, numbers between uh, 0 to 1 so here i am uh, generating a 5 by 5 matrix okay yes so you can see uh, uh, the rand array has generated us a number between 0 to 1 and uh, because now these are the lowest numbers uh, uh, on this sheet currently so it is towards or on the uh, greenest set so 0, 0.0 uh, what i can see currently lowest deep green uh, so so this is how you can generate uh, heat maps uh, and google and uh, this can help you in your uh, data analysis and data insight work uh, so thank you for uh, staying tuned with uh, sheet metric please like comment and subscribe to see uh, and help us reach to the right order you guys bye